iPhone 5S iOS 10.2 versus iPhone 5S iOS 10.2.1. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to iPhone 5S iOS 10.2 versus iPhone 5S iOS 10.2.1 here on the right. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you making this video? The reason I am making this video is because iOS 10.2.1 brings some major bug fixes and um, we're gonna just see if the performance has changed. Now, usually it doesn't change on that much on these dot updates, but I still like to do these tests to show you if there is a difference in the real world. We do, you know, boot up tests here as well as app speed. So let's go ahead and boot both up. So the gold iPhone 5S right here is rocking the older 10.2, whereas the 5S on the space gray is totally updated and fresh. So let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in three, two, and let's go. And you can see, boom, on both devices. So let's see which one gets there first. So iPhone 5S on the left, 10.2 on the right, 10.2.1. And I did line up some applications. So we are gonna run our app test as per usual around these parts. But have you got iOS 10.2.1 on your device? If so, let us know how your experience has been going down below in the comments section. I think that I might do a battery test here on 10.2.1 to see if there's any improvements or decreases in battery life. I actually didn't get a chance to get around to 10.2 battery test on the 5S, so maybe we'll do that one if enough people request it down below in the comments for the 5S. And um, the 5S on 10.2.1 beats the 5S on 10.2 here on the left only by a hair well actually about two seconds so 10.2.1 speed and this is a 64 gigabyte iphone this is a 16 gigabyte iphone shouldn't make any difference both have similar amount of apps a ton of apps on both just on this one they are customized into folders here but let's just begin with some lock screen stuff i know this is not really scientific but let's see if there's any difference in terms of the lock screen opening and you can see not really maybe a user error there on a couple of those but about the same there let's go into the home buttons and you could see about the same on both there as well so let's go ahead and do that one more time and let's go ahead and close get into these babies and i don't know there's a laptop recall but let's go ahead and see if we can close all the applications out here i want to confirm the ios versions though because i don't want you guys to think i'm lying to you here on here so let's go into 10.2 here and i'm gonna go ahead and get the wi-fi is the same on both devices my fastest connection here and while i'm doing that i'm gonna go over here into this iphone and show you that we are running the ios 10.2.114 d 72 here so you can see that one is there and uh one more time on this one just to confirm one more time on this guy right here you can see 10.214 c92 so let's go back here make sure i want to make sure both of these are on the same exact wi-fi no they are not so let me get out of here go home here come into this wi-fi here and we should be on the same exact wi-fi now let's begin with these are the applications i lined up Apple had said to fix some of their applications in this, you know, update. So let's start with the calculator. Everything's closed. Let's start with the calculator. Three, two, and go. And you can see about the same on both. Let's come out of there. And it looks like 10.2 got home quicker. Let's pay attention to that as we go through this test. Camera. And look like the 10.2.1. Let's go home. Looked about the same there back home. Let's do that one more time. Looked about the same there. Let's go into weather and 10.2 on the left surprisingly faster than 10.2.1 let's go home and i'm tapping these at the same time so let's go to settings 10.2 again let's come out of there let's go home let's go into let's come back home actually about the same there let's go into clock 10.2.1 let's come home let's go into app store and you guys tally up the wins for yourself to let to see which one you think wins this test that looked like 10.2.1 by a hair let's come home that looked about the same. Let's go into phone. That looked like 10.2.1. Let's come home here. Let's go into Twitter on both. And let's see what happens on twits. The tweeties, the Twitters, the tweetables. Hashtag Nick Ackman, hashtag iPhone 5S. Come home. And that looked like 10.2.1. Let's go into voice memos. And uh, you could see right there, boom. Let's come home. That looked about the same. I just said boom. <laughs> 
boom okay let's go to um instagram here and uh, having too much fun <laughs> recording right now let's go home and you can go ahead and follow me here on instagram underscore nick underscore ackerman i have the link down below in the description area i do post all kinds of technology based stuff and it's all pretty much related to the channel so if you want to stay up to date with what's going on around these parts what phones are coming to the channel um hint hint galaxy s7 coming soon go ahead and follow me there because you will be up to date with what's going on with the channel as well as me so let's go ahead and go into youtube and let's go into let's see if we can go into one of my videos let's go to nick ackerman nick ackerman on booth nick ackerman on booth subscribe to the channel if you haven't already we would love to have you around these parts that was a win too i don't know what happened there let's see right here subscribe to the channel if you want to get some more technology awesomeness in your feed and you can see right there boom let's go to videos here let's go to the 5s ios 10.2.1 review let's see what happens so on the left they're getting a little bit loud over there but that looked like 10.2 on that one let's go into ebay here and see what happens there and slow poke phones okay on the right 10.2.1 on this one let's come home and let's go into amazon on both let's see what happens here for amazoni for the amazonians out there looks like 10.2 on the left no about the same let's go into not interested on both and there was a little bit of hang there on 10.2 and that went faster on 10.2.1 so i'm gonna give this round to 10.2.1 let's come home 10.2 went home quicker let's do a safari browser test so let's just go into let's see um let's just go into youtube let's just go to youtube.com here on on the browser version let's go to youtube dot com here on the browser version youtube.com i don't know i can't type on these small iphones no more ever since i switched to the bigger one let's go to go and see what happens there and boom and let's come home let's swipe through this just a little bit and let's just swipe through and see you can see that it's about the same no difference here in performance and this test is showing that there's hardly no difference here in the performance i thought there'd be a slight increase on 10.2.1 but i'm not really seeing anything honestly let's go into compass here and 10.2.1 just shut me up because i just said it wasn't going quicker and it just went quicker right after i said that you notice that it always it always tries to do that once you try to shut it down it's like you know what nick i got you boy watch this boom quicker let's go home here and uh let's get out of here let's go into speed test now let's speed test both i know everybody's gonna be like speed test one at first and then the other it's not fair if you do it at the same time and that might be correct might not be but let's go ahead and just do this one on the left first ios 10.2 on the left and like I say, guys, let me know what you guys are getting on your performance on 10.2.1. Is it sucky? Is the battery sucking? Share with the community so we can kind of like help all help each other out. You know, it really helps us out to know what's going on with your iPhones. Then we can do tests, maybe help you out with some future videos and things like that. Let's go ahead and see the upload here for 84.95 down. So I don't got the fastest Wi-Fi on the block, but it's still decent nonetheless. And I'm pretty happy with those speeds right there so not bad let's see what this 10.2.1 does over here on the right for this test preparing 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 and 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 i'm on repeat right now and okay here it goes 86 87 89 90 can we hit 90 oh can we hit oh blazing on through so nine or i said nine point i'm, I'm living in the past 10.2.1 here it just beat the pants off of 10.2 here on the iphone 5s 10.2 now the upload looks like it's about to lose to 10.2 oh, actually about the same so you know even wi-fi speeds that's almost exactly the same you can see right there 90.2 on the download 10.2 or 12 point about 12.2 both on the up so let's come out of there let's go into home kit here and let's see what happens there don't allow let's go home about the same let's come out of there i'm gonna zoom back out a little bit let's go into apple health and boom let's come into calendar and boom so actually pretty much no performance difference here in terms of multitasking let's do some multitasking here let's come out of both let's come hey what are you doing over there okay let's go in the calendar here and uh, you could see like i mean i could do this test i could run it all day not a big deal here on either so if you're going ahead and updating to ios 10.2 and you're like i'm not updating to 10.2.1 every time apple does an update they slow my iphone down i'm getting so upset with that no 
it's not going to slow down at all if you go to 10.2.1 it's just going to fix bugs that actually protect you from having a worse experience on your iphone 5s is here so yeah any other videos you guys want to see like i say comment that down below that would be appreciated and uh if you guys enjoyed this video do me a favor click the like button for me this was nick here helping to master your technology be sure to have a great day i will catch you all in the next one and peace Thank you.